Hello and welcome to a new Sega News Bits. I'm your host George and today I'm doing a solo episode talking about Sonic Forces. The website PSN Profiles recently leaked the Sonic Forces trophies, or at least what they're calling the trophies. We don't know if these are official because we don't have them officially announced by Sega. I don't really think anything is actually official until act Sega actually says it, but these actually seem very legit. First of all, let's talk about how many trophies you have in this game. Apparently it's going to have 46 trophies in total, 32 bronze, 10 silver, 3 gold, and of course the 1 platinum trophy. So let's go through some of the trophies that I found interesting. According to the trophies, there's going to be a secret stages and EX stages. So you'll be able to unlock those throughout the game and get a trophy for it. So it's going to be interesting what the secret stages and EX stages are and what's the difference between them. I'm assuming that the EX stage is just maybe a remixed level or something and the secret stage might be something new. And there seems to be more than one for each thing. So it would be interesting to try to unlock them and see what they are. We also get to see some more unlockables. According to this, you'll be able to unlock red rings, which we already knew about, number rings, silver moon rings, wispons, or wispons, is that how you say it? Uh, parts, I don't know what the parts are used for, I'm assuming to uh, customize your avatar, and you might be able to play through the game, unlock new content or new parts, and then go back and, you know, create another avatar and play again. All these unlockables and all these things are going to be able to find in the game. This is stuff that Sega hasn't really been talking about. They've been showing little, you know, gameplay trailers. But it's interesting to see through these leaks what Sega has in store for us in the full game when it comes out in a couple months. Another interesting uh, aspect of this was that they had daily missions. What are daily missions? And I'm thinking this is more like kind of like mobile games, you know, where you kind of log on and there's a daily mission, you know, beat this at this time or do something in this level and then you do it and they give you points extra to unlock stuff. I think that's probably what this is going to be. I mean, I don't know, but there's going to be daily missions. There's a trophy for that and there's another trophy for SOS missions. So that's going to be interesting. I, I want to see what that is and I want to see what the fun online functionality is about. Hopefully it's not some microtransaction weird roulette table thing. The trophies also go into what bosses you'll be able to fight in the game, which I don't want to spoil here for people that have been kind of ignoring all the other media. Why are you watching this, right? You can go into the PSN profiles and look at the trophies and check those out. But a lot of these trophies seem very easy. The three gold trophies happen to be collecting all the moon rings, collecting all the wispins, and completing all the challenge missions. So I'm assuming this is where the bulk of your time will be. There's also collecting over 500 parts. How hard that's going to be, I don't know. It's kind of weird because like Sonic team games are kind of short if you just play the adventure mode. But then if you go in and try to get 100% of everything, they add so much content that you're like, why are you doing this to me? Why am I putting myself through this? Because, you know, we have OCD. We have to complete every game for 100% that we like sometimes. Anyway, that's, that, that's it for my rant today. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about IDW Comics with Barry. And there's going to be some nice back and forth, so tune in tomorrow for that one. But as for today... What do you guys think about these PSN trophies? What do you think about stuff like the moon rings? What do you think that's going to be? And are you excited to play Sonic Forces later on in November? And do you think Sega social media people should be talking more about these kind of uh, new collectibles and uh, daily missions? Are you interested in that? Let us know in the comments below.